YouTube but welcome to my channel my name is Dominique for those of you who do not know me and as you can see from the title down below I am actually here to talk about hair growth like guys I am here to give you tips on what I did to grow my hair and as a disclosure I am not a cosmetologist I did not go to school to learn about hair as everyone knows I am actually pursuing the wonderful career of nursing I want to become a nurse practitioner so this is not something that I learned about in school I am going strictly based off of experience and things that I did to grow my hair and if you see me looking down which I'm doing quite a lot it's because I actually have notes on my iPad I really did not want to forget anything guys I wanted to um Make sure that I got everything inside this video. But before we get in, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on my social medias so you know when I upload something because this is my first video, but this is definitely not my last one. Um, I will be doing a lot of traveling on this channel. I will be doing beauty things. I will be doing makeup. I will be doing a lot, and I really want you guys to watch so make sure you keep up with everything i do and if you are interested in how to grow your hair let's get right into the video so guys rule number one this is not a tip this is a rule we do not let everyone put their hands in our head like no don't have everyone putting their hands in your hair. And I actually learned this at a pretty young age. My mom did not let everyone do my hair. She did not let the girl down the street braid my hair and then let the girl up the street do my hair. She, my mom was not going for that. So that's one thing that I learned pretty early. Don't let everyone put their hands in your hair. There should be a max of three people who actually touches your hair and one of them should be you, of course. The second person is someone who does your wigs. So your, um, you know, your fake hairstyles and the person that does mine is actually my best friend. She's actually a hairstylist. So she does my wigs and when it's time to install, she actually braids my hair for me. And the third person is um, a company. It's actually the hair salon that I go to every two weeks, which is a Dominican hair salon. And that is the person who take care of my natural hair so i have someone who take care of my weaves my natural hair and then there's of course me and the reason why you really don't want everyone touching your real hair is because it's for sanitary purposes you don't know if they are cleaning off their tools the correct way you don't know if they use the comb on one person and then turn around and try to use on you so there's a there's a lot that goes into not letting everyone touch your hair and there are a million reasons why but I feel like sanitary is the number one reason why. So tip number two, this is not a rule, this is actually a tip. I do recommend using hair supplements guys. I do use Hair Infinity and I feel like that is why my hair did grow um, a lot in such a short amount of time. There are a lot of hair supplements out on the market so the number one thing that I recommend is that you actually do your research don't just um, get a p don't just buy pills and take it because you heard that it's amazing do your research look at the ingredients and find out what you are going to be consuming because with hair pills you will actually be taking them for a long amount of time so you need to make sure that everything that's in those pills you are okay with for taking for about one month or two months or even a year because for me since I take hair infinity I have been taking them for about two years now and just a little overview on hair infinity if anyone is looking to start hair infinity I do recommend it it is a little pricey it doesn't sound pricey at first like it's $25 a bottle and the bottle lasts you one month however when you take it for a long amount of time you're like ooh, like $25 on a bottle like oof. so what you can do instead of buying like these expensive brands like Hair Infinity or Sugar Bear Hair, go to your local Walmart or Target and buy biotin pills because if you look inside of these um, hair bottles like these hair pill bottles like Hair Infinity and Sugar Bear Hair, the number one ingredient is actually biotin and biotin is a hair, skin and nail pill. So, for instance, in um, Hair Infinity, don't quote me, I think that the um, 
the milligrams for your hair infinity is 3000 and that's more than any other ingredient that they have in there so the main ingredient in these hair pills is biotin so to skip getting these hair pills and paying the hair pill price when you're really just paying for the brand just go ahead and get biotin and i do actually have both i have hair infinity and i have biotin pills and i just switch them off right now tip number two protective styles protective styles is your best friend they are your best friend guys and when i say protective styles i mean wigs and i mean braids skip sew-ins we don't do sew-ins anymore and the reason why we do not do sew-ins is because sew-ins literally saw your hair off when you um get a sew-in they of course put thread in your hair and just picture it when you brush your hair you're literally tugging on the thread and the thread is tugging and sawing your hair and that's what leads to breakage when you finally do take your weave out and you see um, when you brush it, there's a lot of breakage. Of course, some comes from everyday um, hair coming out. Some of that. But most of it is because you're literally sawing your hair off when you brush it. So definitely stay away from sew-ins. But as far as wigs, guys, I love my wigs. If you see any style on my Instagram that I have worn, if it's not my real hair, then it's definitely a wig. From curly to short to straight to blonde to anything, y'all. Wigs. Wigs. And the reason why I say that is because when you take when you're when you wear a wig, you're you're able to take the wig off and actually wash your hair. You're allowed to wash your braids and actually scrub. When you need to oil your hair, you can get straight into the braids and you don't even have to worry about getting under the the weave and stuff like that. Your hair is right there. And you are able to sleep. I don't know about y'all, but I sleep more comfortable, comfortably when I have my wig on because I take my wig off and then I go to sleep. And then when I wake up, put my wig back on. Another pro of a wig is you are allowed to switch styles so frequently. Like, like I said, I have a lot of hairstyles that I wear and it's because I wear wigs. And like one week, y'all, one week I'll come to school in a bob. The next week I'm coming to school in a short haircut. The next week I'm coming to school with my hair. You get what I'm saying? So you have a lot of flexibility when you wear a wig. Braids. That's another type of um protective style like i said you can do corn rolls you can do lemonade braids and of course the braids that's under your wig the goal is to find styles that allows you not to manipulate your natural hair and when i say manipulate i mean by combing it and like put it in hair ties when you leave your hair alone that is when it grows that is when your hair is able to do its thing because it's like okay sis you left me alone so let me grow for you you get what i'm saying so when you leave your hair alone expect some growth that's why like when people take the um well, when I used to take my sew-ins out, I used to get so excited because my hair was growing. It was still growing, but it was thinning out. It was growing, but it was thinning, and I didn't want that. It was just like, it was like a pro, and it was a con. So when you leave your hair alone, it does grow. And then plus the, um, the hair supplements, of course, made it grow, and I just left it alone. Another tip is stay away from putting heat on your hair every day, guys. Like, I used to put heat on my hair every single day when I had my weaves. I had to, you know, flat iron my leave out. I had to get my leave out right so it can match my weave. Like, no, we're not doing that. No. Get you a lace front, get you a closure, get you something that you do not have to use one leave out and you do not do not have to put heat on your hair every day. When I go to the Dominican hair salon, which is, like I said, my home hair salon, I get my hair done every two weeks. When I get my hair done, that actually lasts me about two to three weeks. That allows me to only put heat on my hair about two times a month, maybe only one if I can stretch it. And I'm actually going to give you guys tips on stretching your um, your straight hair so you don't have to put heat on it a lot. So that's the goal, guys. Do not put heat on your hair every day because all you're doing is damaging your hair. And not only that, you're eventually going to get heat damage and you will have to cut your hair, not off, but, you know, get rid of that um, heat damage because it's not, it's not a pill. All right, guys. So I told you I was going to give you tips about 
stretching your blowouts the number one way of stretching your blowout is of course wrapping your hair at night wrap your hair at night with a silk scarf so you can keep the oils inside your hair because if you use a um if you use a cloth scarf it's actually just going to suck all the oils out so use a silk scarf at night and then i put a bonnet on top and when i get in the shower i actually put a shower cap on as well and the shower cap of course is to stop the water from getting on your hair but not only that it's actually stopping humidity because humidity does the same thing that water does to your hair just like when you go outside um early in the morning at like six six o'clock in the morning and it's humid guys my hair i don't know about y'all but my hair go from this to this like it's no joke so definitely use the shower cap so that's the tip wrap it with a silk scarf bonnet and then a shower cap another tip is um find light oils do not put oils in your hair that are very heavy because that's gonna make you have to wash your hair all over again and you can actually take this into the last tip that I gave you about um, reserving your straight hair when you use a heavy oil of course it's gonna weigh your hair down and when your hair gets weighed down you're gonna want to wash it and then you're gonna have to get it done over again so if you use light oils then of course the oil is not gonna weigh your hair down it's gonna moisturize your scalp and your ends but it's not going to weigh your hair down to the point where you're like okay it's time for a wash because when I get my hair washed that's the reason why I wash my hair is to get all the oils that I put into it out because it's now it's starting to get weighed down but if you use light oils you're allowed to put a large amount in before it starts to get weighed down and I actually have an oil that I recommend it's an argan oil it's super light and it works and I pretty much use it every day and guys my hair is still like bouncy another sure. tip is moisturizing your hair guys your hair is just like your skin it needs to be moisturized like i said i have three people that does my hair and i only go to the hair salon every two weeks so say i go to the pool and i get my hair wet or i go to the beach and i get my hair wet i have to come home and wash my hair myself so if i wash my hair i use tresemme or i use um another brand i will actually insert it somewhere on the screen here i can't remember the name but I use those two and when I get out the shower, I grease my scalp, okay? I use actual grease because my hair sucks up anything. Anything you put on my hair, it's like, like y'all, it's gone, it's gone. So I use grease on my scalp and I um, actually use hair lotion on my ends. So when I get out the shower, I um, part my hair in four, so I have one like here and then here and then I literally plait my hair and I grease my scalp and then I use the hair lotion and then same thing silk scarf bonnet to keep all that moisture inside and just so you know when you detangle your hair you start from bottom up so you start from the bottom and then you go up and then you finally get to deep conditioning your hair um, there are a lot of deep conditioning products out there however I personally will use silicone mix and that is what is very known to put on weaves to make your weave come back to life and I actually use that on my real hair and I use that as a deep conditioner so what I do is I put it on my hair just like I put conditioner on my hair I put a shower cap on and then I sit under the dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes and then I rinse it all out and my hair is super super soft and then I just go ahead and do my normal routine splitting it into four greasing lotioning the ends and plaiting it up and scarf another tip that i actually just started doing me and my co-worker was at work and we were discussing hair ties like y'all we talk about the most random stuff and i was telling her i was like every time like i take my hair tie out like hair is coming out and she was like girl why don't you just get silk hair ties and i was like i actually switch to silk hair ties and it sounds funny and it sounds like something so minute and so like little like you're probably looking at me like girl really really but y'all when i used to take my scrunchies out of my hair like literally by the scrunchie brand the the black ones it used to be so much hair wrapped around my scrunchie i used to be like are you serious are you serious so i went to walmart and i got some silk hair ties it was like a pack of six for like 
four dollars but it really it helps i noticed that my hair doesn't literally come out on the hair tie and to answer everyone's question which is am i relaxed or am i natural drum roll please i am actually relaxed guys i have been relaxed my entire life like i've never been natural and i don't say that in like ew natural i actually like salute people who are natural because first of all being natural is expensive like when i be walking past all these like four natural hair products i'm like you want how much for what like seriously to be natural is very expensive and i am super tender-headed like you do anything to my head and it hurts you take out my braids it hurt anything just hurts me so i feel like me being natural just would not work but as far as my perms, my scalp is very sensitive. So whenever I do go to my hairdresser, because that is the person who puts in my perms, when I go to the hairdresser, she does have to use a extra sensitive relaxer on me. She can't use extra strength. She can't use any of that because I burn so quickly. So listen, being natural or being relaxed is not easy because when you're relaxed, like I said, your hair is super dry. My hair is dry all the time. So I use a lot of oils and stuff like that. And being natural, y'all, y'all have to deal with detangling. Y'all number one thing is detangling. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot. First of all, it's a lot having hair. Like, to have healthy hair is a lot. It's a lot of work. It's time consuming. It's a lot of money you have to put into it because y'all when I go get a relaxer, that's $65 just to get a relaxer. So it's, it's expensive either way it is because you're taking care of your hair and there's no money you can put on taking care of your hair because at the end of the day it's your hair and when you don't feel like wearing weaves you can go ahead and put your hair listen in a cute bun you can flat iron it real cute like whatever you want to do so there's there should be no price tag on your real hair y'all take care of your hair for real because listen you was born with it and i know it feels good it feels really good like when i'm tired of wearing weaves i'm like I'm tired of wearing like, weaves. Like, I'm ready to put... Okay, when I say weaves, y'all know I mean wigs. Like, it it's a good feeling. Like, when you're tired of wearing wigs, you're like, okay, I'm tired of wearing wigs. And I'm confident in my real hair to wear my real hair. I don't feel like I need a wig all the time because I know my real hair is healthy and it's, it's really pretty. So, y'all, take care of your hair because it's your hair. And at the end of the day, if all the wigs in the world, for some reason, burn up, all you have is your real hair left so take care of it y'all seriously take care of your real hair make sure you hit the bell down below so you are notified when i upload a new video because like i said although this is my first video this will definitely not be my last i travel a lot like guys i just really came back from las vegas and then before that i went to mexico and i'm really sad that i didn't start my youtube back then because those would have been like some really nice videos like those would have been really nice but i am taking a trip at the end of this month which is definitely approaching and i definitely want to record that and not only traveling i will also be on here for makeup lifestyle vlogs and yeah i just want to do a whole bunch with this channel guys i really want to see my channel grow so yeah Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in the next video.